What up everybody, we're the Georgia Boys, and today we are doing a double dip review, knocking out a few. I am reviewing some Skull Extra Mint Long Cut, and I'm reviewing some Copenhagen Long Cut. Yeah. It's going to be a good day. Okay, well, due to technical difficulties... We did this earlier, but our camera shorted out. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Obama. So, um, you know, I will not be packing a lip. I already got one in. I didn't want to waste it. That's for me. I will be packing a lip. Pack one with it. And enjoy. Well, while he's doing that, let's go extra mint. Now, this is something that I truly enjoy. I do mints and naturals. Those are my thing. You do winter greens and what else do you do? Uh, winter greens, I like grizzly mint more than that, to be quite honest with you. Um, uh, straights. No, I don't do a lot of straights, but, um, naturals and winter greens? Yeah. Alright, well, uh, this is kind of a biased opinion because a lot of people either love it or hate this dip. And honestly, I don't really give a shit. So, Skull Extra Mint. When you first crack this thing open, the first thing you get is you almost get like a mint chocolate chip cookie to me, personally. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is just somebody that really likes mint. This is a very strong mint. Um, there's not a big tobacco taste to it. There is just straight mint. I get nothing else from this. It's got a uh, it's got a nice cut. Um, it kind of packs like crap unless you can do it well. A uh, little bit long cut. Don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, typical school cut. Metal lid, glass bottom, and we don't need. So, it's a good mint. Um, it lasts quite a while. I can usually keep this in for about an hour and 30 minutes. You know, depending on work, school, all that good shit. Uh, I'm not getting too much dark spit out of this. I get a nice brown, brown spit. Um, lasts a while, good mint. Everything about it, I just like in general. So, if you like the mint, go out, try it. You won't regret it. Mm. I agree with Marcus. It's a good mint, but it's not something I could do every day. Um, just because I get, if I do a dip constantly, I get kind of tired of it. Kind of like how I'm kind of taking a break from coconut and wintergreen. Actually, just wintergreens in general. But, um, on the Copenhagen long cut, um, packability is pretty good, although I will say the long cut in this, out of all the other Copenhagen long cuts, is, uh, it reminds me more of the, uh, of the snuff. Um, I do have to throw this in the front because every time I put it in the side, I just start losing all kinds of flavor and whatnot. Um, I, I do get a lot more flavor out of this than I do the snuff. Um, I get pretty dark spit most of the time, um, but um, the flavor, it kind of reminds me of like a, a saltine cracker, oddly enough. Uh, it, does have a, it does have a salty flavor. Um, last ability, um, uh, whenever I go to the gym, I put one in on the way there and I put one in on the way back. And the gym I go to is about an hour away from where I live, so, um, it's not, it's not like it doesn't last a while, you just have to, um, you have to have a good lip in, and, uh, it'll last you quite, it'll last me, it'll last me about 45 minutes to an hour, uh, other than that, I mean, it's an overall good dip, I mean, um, a lot of people seem to like this. got a metal lid, 
power board bottom. Must know. Yeah. I definitely like uh, Copenhagen Long Cut as well. It's a nice, uh, it's got just a tobacco overall taste. It doesn't have a certain taste, it's just Copenhagen Long Cut. You won't try anything else that's similar, unless you get Cope Snuff. Um, it's salty. Um, the packability is very good on it. It does what you want it to do. It's a Copenhagen, so it's obviously got a good quality. It usually has a lip taken out of it, you know, the Jesus Pinch. Yeah, I mean, look, I guess it's an alright pack. But. It's definitely got a, a stench to it. Yeah. I can see where you're coming from on that. But, um, I mean, it's a good dip. I mean, I wouldn't consider it an everyday dip that I, that I could do every day, in my opinion. But it's pretty good. It's good for it being around for however long it's been, 200 years. So, there's definitely a reason why it has been down and around everywhere for a long time. It's good. Definitely should pick it up. But, um, going back to the mint, um, it lasts a while. It does what it needs to do. Um, it's snowing outside, so it's actually a pretty good winter dip. You'd be surprised. And... But definitely not a hard dip to find. None of these are pretty easy. But overall, they're both good. You should definitely try both of them out. If you try them, let us know how you feel about them. Uh, Skull is definitely a biased dip, so it just depends really on what you like. But, um, you know, like I said in, in our first video, uh, I'm more of a Copenhagen man. Grizzly. I'm that guy. I apologize. Not really. I don't apologize. But, um, you know, it also has, like, if I wanted to be specific, it also reminds me of, um, it kind of reminds me of Chew, but not as much. I mean, there's a lot of t that tobacco flavor in it. Um, but I wouldn't recommend you know, like you would with um, oh, Stokers or what's that other one? Gold River? No, oh, yeah, Gold River. Um, Shoot it. I, would, I wouldn't recommend like pulling it out of your lip and then chewing on it and then putting it back. I just wouldn't recommend it. I can do that with Stokers or I want to try Gold River eventually because I've heard it's pretty good. Yeah, that's what you did. But, uh, it's, uh, it tastes pretty good. Just like I said, I can't I can't do something like that every day. I would just get really tired of it. Um, I do spit a lot more when I have this dip in for some reason. More than usual, I should say. Mm. Anyway, guys. If you like what you see here, bear with us. We are looking for, you know, a nice camera. We're looking at you know, a newer location, something that really hits home. Um, I'm trying to update the quality. We're trying to do the best that we can. We're just starting out. But if you like one of us here, like the video, subscribe. Next week we should be doing the Copenhagen Wintering, I believe. Uh, let's see. What do you? What do we want to do next week? I wouldn't mind doing a grizzly. I don't know. I'll try and get some too by next week. But um, that's about it, guys. We'll uh, catch you guys later. Georgia Boys, out.